when you talk to spirits, you find that every single spirit can progress in the spirit world without returning to earth. Now, if they can process their emotion without returning to earth, then why return to earth? And in fact, every spirit who's in the sixth fear knows there is no reincarnation, as described in this method, because it's actually a very love, unloving portrayal of God. In fact, God would never, ever allow it. But then why is there so much injustice? On the why is there so much inequity? Why, why does that soul come through as it is? The very first emotion that Ammon and Amman, which are the first human couple, had, was that, self-reliance. The self-reliant emotion creates huge inequities and, and it walk, you walk away from God as soon as you become self-reliant. As soon as you become self-reliant and walk away from God, there is automatic things that are going to occur to the soul condition and those soul conditions are going to then be impressed generationally onto the next generation and so forth. And that's how evil came about, is that we make, and how many of you today, right now, are still making the choice of self-reliance? It's one of the, it is, to be honest with you, it is going to be the biggest emotional damage that you will have to ever face in your life, that emotion. Because in the end, what, if we're on the divine path, we will be in a state of God-reliance. Uh, <coughs> So all emotional damage that is now on the earth has come about because of the emotion of self-reliance. What actually happened, and if I can explain what happened in the spirit world, because everything is a relationship between what happens here and what happens in the spirit world. So what happened was the first human couple made the choice of self-reliance. That then caused their emotional condition to degrade. When they passed, their emotional condition was degraded. You follow me? So when they passed over, they were in first fear emotional condition, degraded emotional condition. They then influenced the next generation of people through their emotional condition. Now, the next generation gets worse in terms of what they do, right, as a result of that. Then what happened was they passed, and they were in an even darker emotional condition and they influenced the earth even darker places. But the first human couple by this stage had learnt a lot of their dark lessons and had progressed up the spheres a bit. Does that make sense? Now the next generation passes, the next generation passes, and you think of hundreds of thousands of generations passing. There's this filtering going occur where eventually the first generation re reaches the spirit of natural love, the area of natural love, the sixth sphere. And they are now in a purely loving place from a natural love perspective. And then subsequent generations are now getting into that state. Now what's happening now is there's a lot more positive influence on the earth. You follow? And that positive influence has then caused the earth to start improving in its condition. So what actually happened generationally was firstly we started off, we started off in a pristine condition but, but not God-reliant. We degraded... This is the entire human race degraded into this position of like, of in fact the Bible calls it lower than animals, right? And this is where all these historical skeletons come of man, you know, when man was in this terrible degraded condition. Because as you know, if you don't deal with your emotions, you have physical things happen to your body, do you not? Yeah. Yep. And if you don't deal with those emotions and they're huge emotions, what's going to happen to your children? They're going to be born with these deformities, are they not? And, these, and so the, the, what happened was that the man degraded in physical and emotional condition to the point of being little like animals, right? And then, because of the influence from the spirit world, positive influence, the, the, the man, man's soul condition started rising. What time was it? What time was this? Time right uh, hundreds of thousands of years ago, this? Uh, hundred thousand years ago? Right, man degraded very rapidly, yeah. And by the time, you know, within a few thousand years, man was in a state where they were just very much like war mongers, like we are today, generally. And um, but but much worse, without any law, right? And then and then that caused a constant degradation. 
This point here sort of occurred around 35,000 years ago. Right. You, uh, you've heard of, uh, you know, the sinking of Atlantis, the uh, Lemuria and those kind of continents. All of that occurred because of the soil condition being so bad on Earth, right? And, and so they caused all of these physical... The Earth itself responds to your condition. So, and then there was this gradual improvement over that period of time, 30, from 35,000 years to now, spiritual improvement, due to spirits reaching the sixth sphere of their development and others, you know, helping other people on Earth and guiding other people on Earth and helping them come to those enlightenment, you know, to some enlightenment. Yep. Oh, that's right.